This video is going to focus showing you how to solo the final boss for the Legend Lightfall campaign. So that's not on standard, but on Legend. Um, and just going into how to solo it. I'll post up the full run of the final mission, Desperate Measures, as well. But I'll also do a separate video focus and entirely on the final boss. Because I believe it's going to be tough for people to solo it, actually. Because you're locked into Strand as a soup as a as a class um so you've got to really like hone down on on that particular boss room which i will do so obviously with the legend mode you've got legendary as a modifier so heavily shielded and highly aggressive enemies which is true red eyes disabled by chaff galvanized enemies are harder to stun which is a true to a certain extent they can still be stunned though uh this modifier here i believe scales Fire team to solo. So if you're solo, enemies are scaled to you being solo, as opposed to a fire team. Fire team, uh, the boss should have more HP. It should work the same as what he did in Witch Queen, I believe. I've only ever played this solo. I haven't played it in the team. And then you were capped at 1735. So be, at least be that. I wasn't 17, 1758 as I done this. This is after I've infused some stuff. So that's the basics. Going into the setup. Now, there's no point me covering the setup, right, for Night Stalker, because at the final boss, you're not going to be on Night Stalker. You're going to be on Strand, but you can't select Strand. I can because I've just meditated for it. So this is a bit of a problem. But what I've learned is whatever your stats are for your chosen class correspond to when you're using Strand in the campaign before you actually get Strand, right? So that's the important thing to know. Suspect so your stats favorable to Strand, I guess. For the Strand Hunter, I'm no master of it, honestly, and I don't know much about it yet. But what I would say is you need survivability, right? Because you don't have invisibility. So I recommend to you the exotic, uh, exotic helmet, Wormless Crown. When you dodge, you get health regen. This is going to save you. I've done this with tier 7 recovery, right? And then tier 10 resilience and discipline. But I would recommend more mobility. Seriously, I haven't run it. I'm like, yeah, I should have pumped up my mobility at least tier 9. So make sure that you do that. That's a big thing. And also another thing that I didn't do is I had Gambler's Dodge on, which is a base cooldown of 38 seconds. Marksman's 29. So if you run like a tier 10 mobility hunter with Marksman's Dodge, you're going to get Wormus Crown Dodges more frequently while you're on Strand. So I recommend those two changes as opposed to what i done, but everything else is... As I as you see it, weapon wise, it is the best weapon to use in this. I would say, Wiverhod because of stun. You stun targets and all sorts. So you'll see that in the gameplay. I recommend a good scout rifle over a, an SMG or something because you need to get good crits on the new enemy type that's coming up uh, that you see in the in the campaign. And I'm using Retrofit Escapade because. It's just so good. Machine guns are so good now, especially target lock. I don't recommend swords. You could get away with GLs. I haven't even used GLs yet. They've been buffed. So, yeah, anything just to accompany Wiverhard really well, which Retrofit does. You should have crafted it last season. If you didn't, then maybe, you know, try another machine gun that you've got or, or maybe GLs. Just you're going to struggle for ammo capacity with those weapons. So yeah, the, the, the build doesn't matter all that much. I can show you br briefly builds of changing the game. Just briefly show you. So I've got double void siphon, special ammo finder, double grenade kickstart with a balsam detonation, concussive dampness, solar damage resistance, and I guess I've got void as well, which does actually help out in this. So these this resistance I've got is actually perfect. What I've got. Stacks on stacks, recuperation, bomber, and utility kickstart. Utility kickstart's going to be a good one. I've doubled up on these as well. So you're going to... That is helpful. That actually saved me because my mobility was actually poor. It should have been better. And I could have spec my gear. I've got loads of gear. I could have spec it at a higher mobility. I just didn't at the time because I was in a rush. But that's the setup that I recommend for this. So as we start, obviously activate the strand ability. So, as I said, you're not going to be on any other class. You'll be on Strand because it's the whole fight is based around Strand itself. You can see there's a lot of green orbs. You can grapple those. And if you don't grapple those, you'll grapple mid-air type thing and you'll still get maneuverability. That's what you need to master in this fight. 
It's really designed that you use stranding that way to get away. That is your recovery. Um, basically to sort of avoid the fire. And it's a good it is a good tool, especially when you've got a lot a lot of these orbs and things. Uh, to do with enemy spawns, they're infinite. If you sp kill enemies on one of the free platforms here, you get a spawn of dogs. Honestly, what I'm doing right now isn't worth your time. Don't clear out any of the ads on left, right, uh, on, on any of the, the platforms. Whilst it gives you a moment of time to do damage, there's better places to stand. This first phase is no problem. See the first HP gate? So you need to do a third HP. That will then get to phase two. This is phase one. So phase one, you can take it at your leisure. Nothing's too threatening. You're all right. It's when you get to phase two, you've got to deal with tormentors. That's where obviously your strand's going to come in, and Wither Horde. Wither Horde does this like type of stun damage. Like if you remember, we had unstoppable, um, unstoppable grenade launcher, right? Last season. Well, what was Wiverhard doing? Staggering and stunning ads. It still does that. Just not in the same fashion. But it, you'll see how it can stun Tormentors. When the boss does that attack that you just saw, Pervading Darkness, you need to get out there soon as because you will instantly wipe at times 10, I believe, or whatever. So make sure you do that. That is a mechanic if you stand too long on one side. So you need to keep map rotation. You need to learn the room. Stand where I'm standing here. This is where to do good damage. You can survive a lot of stuff. Obviously, use Worm Husk to its fullest. I didn't even use tier 10 mobility and I still done fine. So, it just goes to show how good it is, really, for this. We're going to use a bit of retrofit there. Just to, I'm trying to get this Tormentor finishable. They are finishable, but obviously it's not half HP because they're not red bars. They're yellow bars, so it's going to be less than 10%. But the goal is to manipulate their jump move. They jump from platform to platform. Remember, like Lightfall, uh, not Lightfall, like Lightblade, the boss, right? It's the same deal. But as he jumps, he or she or whatever, when they jump over, you, you're free to do a wither hard shot. Obviously, stun their shoulder pads. That, that gets you your stun going because they'll be immune for quite a bit. So make sure that you do stun them. That's why we've got the scout on. The, the SMG ain't cutting it. I don't recommend any close quarter weapons for this. Use a scout or a pulse because from a distance you can deal damage safely to tormentors. Up close they are very dangerous. They can suppress you. They can suppress you out of a super and all your abilities and not let you jump. If you fall off map you're dead. So You've got to know which moves suppress. The suppression from the torment is linked to the close quarter move they do within two meter range. So if you pop a super as they j right on top of you, they'll suppress you out of it. So you, if you're going to do the strand super thing, because strand super melts, it melts these tormentors. I don't know what titans like. I don't know what walls like, but I know on the hunter it's melting them. You can kill two tormentors with one super. I've actually done it before. So that's the first Tormentor dealt with. There'll be another Tormentor. Make sure that you kill both Tormentors before Phase 3. This is Phase 2. Because there's a final phase where you get locked into the middle and you're chased. If you don't kill the Tormentors now, Tormentors will chase you then. And you high chance, high probability of you dying. Despite this not being too difficult, you definitely will die if there's two Tormentors and a boss chasing you. Unless you have super. There's the second Tormentor spawn, so that's what we need to focus next. Keep an eye on HP at all times, and just stand behind these computers, duck behind them, so the boss can't really hit you. The Solar Resistance will help out massively, and Void Resistance will help out against the Tormentor. Look, that's what I'm saying, that's why the Scout's so good, because you can safely deal with them from a range. And and the Wither Horde's going to do good stagger damage as they, they get up here and it's going to do that damage over time when you can do that and then run away. I think it's probably the one of the best weapons for this, for solo. I mean it wasn't a surprise was it? Wiverhard hasn't really been touched. They touched the pool last season but that didn't by no means change a damn thing. It's still top notch in what it does and you would still want to use it. So I baited out the, the Tormentor's move there. So he does that leap attack, you need to get out of that. I think he suppresses on that move. But because the 
the tormentor missed me, I know that that he can't double suppress back to back. I've already worked that out when I was fighting them earlier, which meant I had a moment of opportunity to do a super and then melt. If I'd got caught and been suppressed, I would have had to get out of there. Right, it would have been no good. But I was planning to use a super on one of the tormentors. It just depended on which one it was going to be, and it would be in that one. It's well worth using a super on, t on a tormentor just to get rid. Because once you de dealt with that and you understand phase three, then you're good. You need to master strand grapple. I haven't yet, by no means. I, f I find it quite awkward, if I'm being honest. I find it a little awkward, but that's maybe a bit more me than the game. But it's convenient in this mission because there's a lot of green orbs knocking around, so you can use it. So when now you're in middle, the boss chases you, right? It's in melee format now, so you just want to use with a hard and then grapple away. Use with a hard, grapple away. Some machine gun damage you can do it, but don't sustain it for too long because he can two hit you, two literally two hit at T10 Brazil. Unless you use melee damage resistance, which I wouldn't recommend anyways, just avoid the boss. Concussive damp is too good to pass up. Solar resist and void too good to pass up. So you don't need to change your resistance for it. You just need to uh, use the green green orbs. Whenever the boss is immune like that and he's got shield, try and melt with the machine gun because it bypasses that phase. It takes down the shield quickly, as opposed to you having to do it on the on the fly. You'll get sound spawning at times, two each time. They're not threatening. Just you put a wither hole pill on the floor, whip out the machine gun, because you don't need much more ammo, to be honest. The boss is actually manip can be manipulated very easily uh, at certain sections. He gets stuck. I've already noticed this. Like at the ends, like where I'm standing here, you can sort of strafe to the right and he gets stuck on boxes. So it's not too bad, this phase. It looks worse than what it is. It's not too bad. I actually think... The phase two is a little bit more difficult with the tormentors. But that was a solo for the callus on legend mode. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.